This week, Mumbai came to a standstill as the city witnessed the heaviest 24-hour July rain in 45 years. In other news, here's what happened elsewhere. Many tourists were drenched at the Statue of Unity in Gujarat as rainwater made its way into the viewing gallery. Videos of puddles on the floor and water dripping off the roof were widely shared on social media. Many were left disappointed with the design and questioned why the gallery, which stands at a height of 135 meters, wasn't covered with glass. However, officials who designed the world's tallest statue, which was built at a cost of around Rs 3,000 crore, said that it was natural for water to enter, as that was its design. Hmm, so next time when I burn the dinner, I'll just tell people vegetables are designed to be burnt. Any problem? Sahitya Akademi Award winner Durga Khatiwada is among the 1 lakh plus people whose names were dropped from the draft National Register of Citizens in Assam. Nirmala Devi, sister-in-law of the first Gorkha woman martyr of Assam agitation, who fought for the detection and deportation of illegal immigrants from the state, was also excluded from the list. Reasons for exclusion reportedly include doubtful voter status, declared foreigner status, or an ongoing case at the Foreigners' Tribunal. When a person who advocated to deport illegal immigrants in the garb of nationalism is herself called an illegal immigrant, I think it's safe to say that such a charter of citizens is useless to say the least. Puducherry Lieutenant Governor Kiran Bedi allegedly posted a message in a WhatsApp group calling the people of Tamil Nadu highly selfish and cowardly over the water crisis in Chennai. When asked to apologize, she said she only shared people's perception and that it was not her view, but people's view. However, many politicians, including the leader of opposition in Tamil Nadu, said that a governor's comments were irresponsible. So politicians would rather point fingers than try to find a solution? So much for being a leader. Swami Gyan Vatsalya, a motivational guru, was invited to give a speech at an event in Jaipur organized by the Indian Medical Association. However, he left the program after seeing women seated in the first row. Earlier, Swami had asked the organizers to not allow women to be seated in the first three rows. When female doctors learned about his conditions, they started protesting and threatened to boycott the event. The organizers came to a mutual agreement, but in the end, Swami refused to give a speech in the presence of women. Um, maybe the Indian Medical Association should not give a platform to such misogynists in the first place? Rakshika Raj became the first trans woman to graduate as a nurse, receiving her BSc degree from the governor of Tamil Nadu. However, her application to serve as a nurse was rejected by Tamil Nadu Nurses and Midwives Council which only allows nurses to register as either male or female. This comes despite the 2014 Supreme Court judgment, which ruled that transgender persons are eligible for equal rights and mandated institutions and companies to have an other option while asking for gender. Does the Tamil Nadu Nurses and Midwives Council know about a thing called contempt of court? No? Now you do.